Hello everyone, great to be with you from Stamford Bridge. Derek Ray here on the commentary box, joined as always by former England defender Lee Dixon. And tonight we've got the semi-final of the Champions League coming up for you. It's Chelsea facing RB Leipzig. Yeah, thanks Derek. I'm so, so excited for the players. I really am. I love playing in semi-finals. Didn't play in the Champions League semi-final, mind. But you find out about yourself in a semi-final. Can you control your emotions? Can you commit to the game plan? We're just about to find out. Very, very excited. Teams are always conscious of history and like to draw upon history. Chelsea in the semi-final under Roberto Di Matteo beat Barcelona against all the odds. Can they do it in this semi-final league? Well, you look back at the, the games you've played in as players and you remember certain bits, the bad bits, the good bits. It's how you focus all that information into going into your brain, to go into a game, to produce what you need to get the best out of yourself. And this is how it looks for Chelsea. Kurt Zuma plays alongside Thiago Silva in central defence. Mateo Kovacic starts with N'Golo Conte in the centre of the park. And in attack, it's the very pacey Timo Werner. Thank you, Stamford Bridge. Now let's have a look at the starting Enjoy. 11 for Leipzig. It looks like a conventional 4-4-2. A preferred formation by Arsene Wenger when he arrived at Arsenal. Two main strikers, four across the midfield. Really important for the full-backs to link up with the wide midfielders in this system. And underway now in this Champions League semi-final first leg. Pulisic now. Well, you know, most teams have a preferred way of playing. The visitors do like to press high. They try to force errors. Lee, do you anticipate seeing that from them in this game? Yeah, I do, Derek. I really do. It's a brave way of playing, though, away from home. It just shows the confidence the coach has in this group of players. This attack looks highly promising. Crossing into the middle. Well, a meaty challenge early in this game. Will the referee reach for his pocket? So early in this game, and the referee not really hesitating. A yellow card it is, and that could make it difficult for player and official. Well, it changes the complexion of your game, the way you play your match, especially if you're a defender. You start thinking about the challenges instead of executing them. Quite simply, not clinical enough with the header, Lee. Well, headers are always difficult. It's all about timing, and he got the timing completely wrong there. Thiago Silva and well, he really is danger personified but in this game Lee what do you think we might see from him well his ability on the ball is second to none just watch how close he keeps the ball to his feet he lures defenders in then has a go tremendous block the cross is on Conte and threading it forward, Timo Werner, in it goes, an early goal, no wonder they're celebrating. Here's the replay, and I can see why the keeper's a little frustrated, he thought he got enough on that to keep it out, but it's just come past him and he's unlucky really. Well, let's take another look at that goal, shall we? Back underway, Chelsea with the advantage.
Novdi Mukiele. And now here's Henrichs. Halstenberg has it. He has plenty of support. Veering in field here. Well, body in the way. Now, will they be able to play it in behind the defence? Nkunku. Not what he was intending. Bad pass. Mount. Possession changes hands. The interception there. Given away. Couldn't keep it. Conte. Werner. Excellent challenge. Just wanted to get it out of there. Werner. Huang Hee Chan. When you talk about Chelsea, you talk about a team many people fancied to win the Champions League a decade or so ago. It didn't happen, and then against all the odds in 2012, it did finally happen. Yeah, absolutely. You have to say they deserved it. They could get plugging away each year, but not so long ago before that as well. Intelligent threaded pass here. Just unable to take advantage of that developing situation. Huang Hee Chan. He's found a pocket of space. And options in the centre. Courageous goalkeeping, but he's got the ball. Well, you have to be brave, don't And the keeper's given it away inexcusably. Big chance to get them on terms. Well kept out. Taken short. Back from the byline. It's there for him. A very high degree of difficulty for any goalkeeper. Sheer quality. Quality of the shot and certainly quality of the save. He's driven in the corner. An opportunity with the header, but not troubling the goalkeeper at all, Lee. Well, I'll say one thing. Technique, and he didn't have any. Here's Kovacic. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Well, you've got to keep the ball a bit better than that. It's with Hakim Ziyech. Really good reading of the game to win possession back. Werner, Kovacic, Timo Werner, very much run of the mill as saves go, it's with Hakim Ziyech, Nkunku has it, well the pass not finding its target, And the referee is going to add on three minutes and threading it forward. And nothing positive comes of it, unfortunately. Halstenberg has it. Nkunku. This might have potential. And teammates to play it to. And so the first half draws to a close here in West London. He's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Lee? Well, Derek, you're right. He has played well and goals win games. He's been a joy to watch in this form. Sit back and enjoy him in the second half. Second half of this Champions League semi-final first leg underway.
the ball with Zabica Huang He Chan a chance to whip it in simple for the keeper Chilwell that is how to apply the pressure running with the ball confidently really good block Werner Ziyech on the ball Aspiliqueta cutting in what can he do from this position Kovacic the shot wasn't really far enough away from the goalkeeper was it no but he picked up the flight nice and early Wang Hee Chan Nkunku Wang Hee Chan Nkunku has it ball's gone a really sumptuous ball now the task is to remain focused and he has just veered into an offside position this time they will now make use of their substitutes bench Here's Chilwell. And the referee spotted the foul but has played advantage. Kevin Kumper. Takes some progress with the ball at his feet. The pressure was high and they could be in here. Will he finish? And he's gone and scored to level it again. Wow, what a lovely goal. The finish had to come after this pass that split the defence in half. Great goal. Slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored. Even Steven won a piece on this match. Half an hour remaining then. Chilwell. Quick thinking to dispossess his opponent. Well, he's got plenty of space on the flank here. Teammate in support. How on earth did the goalkeeper get there? Well, he's died forever, hasn't he? He's got that strong hand on it. It's a brilliant save. And he's fired over the corner. Not really the ideal clearance. The game has been turned on its head. They have never stopped believing, and now they sense victory. Let's have a look at that again. The keeper thinks he's done enough, but he hasn't. It's just gone past him. He does get a touch on it, though. Well, let's go back to the goal that was scored. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Well, having fallen behind, let's see what sort of response we get from Chelsea in this game. Conte. Conte. This is Thiago Silva. And Golo Conte. Well, the attacking options appear plentiful. They've regained possession. Individual quality coming to the fore. The cross is on. From one side of the pitch to the other. This might be ideal for the counter. Well, Chelsea need an equaliser. The fans are telling their players... 
Kovacic seducing with his passing. That's all they can conjure for now. And he's in the clear. Well, they would have been in a decent position there, but offside. Oh, what a wasted opportunity. That is substitution for Chelsea. Substitution Coming time it is. Number six, Thiago Silva. Coming onto the pitch, number four, Andreas Christensen. This might have potential. Cutting the ball back. Stout defending by Aspili Quetta. Straight forward for the keeper. N'Golo Conte. Mateo Kovacic. Chelsea couldn't maintain possession. Free kick to Chelsea. Conte now. Havertz. And the danger cleared. Ziyech. Conte. Havertz! Oh, they've done it! A goal for Chelsea, who've got themselves on level terms. Well, here it is. You have to say they've come under a lot of pressure today. Had to do a lot of defending, but it's a well-taken goal. Well, let's have another view of that goal. Well, the happy times are back. The coach is more than delighted by his team's response. Well, another equaliser. What a topsy-turvy game this has been. Danny Olmo with it. Wang Hee Chan. In possession, Yusuf Paulsen. What can he do from here? The master of perfect defensive positioning, Conte. And victory beckons! Here's Kovacic. Werner. Oh, a nice looking pass. The end product just wasn't there. Really good reading of the game to win possession back. Beautifully disguised ball. Conte. It opens up for Havertz. A this is why we adore this game. Late drama, and now they're in front. Well, it looks like the game is over, but no, there's another chance. And there it is, back of the net. It looks like the winner. Let's have another look at this. He wasn't expecting the ball, but when it comes to him, he chooses early to volley it. What a finish. Well, just look at the reactions on the touchline. They just need to keep their composure now. This is far from over. Well, a dramatic moment near the end. And that might well be the decider. Minimum of three minutes. The referee's verdict is three additional minutes. We have entered the final minute of normal time. They're showing a willingness to attack, as they must, given the circumstances. Time running out. The cross was very much on, but not the... Full time then, and the home side will carry with them a lead going into the second leg. Wow, what a job they did today. You could see the game plan from the first minute, and you have to say, if they control the second leg like today, they will be one of the finalists. Superb performance. Well, I think it's accurate to say, Lee, that this man was the light bringer for his side. Well, clearly the difference between the two sides today. Two goals, a really good performance, ran into the channel, did everything right. Absolutely, 9 out of 10.